Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the question about function and graph. Given the function f and g, each with the domain or real number, are defined by, for the function fx, is equals to exponent x. For the function gx, modulus of x minus 1. Find the f rho g. So f rho g is equals to, for the function f rho g, meaning that substitute the function gx into the function of f. So where we will have gx is equals to modulus of x minus 1. Kindly substitute into the function fx. So we will have e to the power of modulus x minus 1. So where we have the function f rho g. B. Sketch the graph of y equals to f rho g. So kindly observe to the situation where we have the modulus of x minus 1. Kindly define the modulus of x minus 1. So modulus of x minus 1 is equals to x minus 1 where we have the domain x minus 1 greater or equals to 0. Second situation negative bracket x minus 1 and we have the domain x minus 1 less than 0. Rewrite the situation. So modulus of x minus 1 is equals to x minus 1 where the domain would be x greater or equals to 1. Next we will have negative x plus 1 where the domain we have x less than 1. So here will be the definition. So rewrite the situation. For the function f rho g, we will have the situation exponent x minus 1 and the domain will be x greater or equals to 1. Next, we have exponent negative x plus 1 and the domain will be x less than 1. Kindly focus on the function f rho g. We notice that we have a piecewise function. First, focus on exponent x to the power of x minus 1. And the domain will be x greater or equals to 1. So here we have 1. So the basic graph y is equals to exponent x minus 1 kindly refers to the coefficient of x where we have positive x so meaning that the graph will be towards the right next we are going to find the intercept when x is equals to 0 y is equals to e to the power of negative 1 when we estimate the value of y it is 0 e to the power of negative 1 and the, and the estimation will be 0 0.4 so meaning that our graph will be something like this but kindly refers to the domain where we have x greater or equals to 1 so here will be the situation. Next, we are going to focus on the second part where we have e to the power of negative x plus 1. y is equal to e to the power of negative x plus 1. So the basic graph will be towards the left because the coefficients of x is negative. So our graph will be something like this. So kindly find the x and y intercept so kindly find the y-intercept if the x is equal to 0, so y will be equal to e to the power of 1. So kindly estimate the value of exponent 1. And we will have the points of intersect 0, e, 1, where we estimate the value 2.72. So our graph basically will be like this. So where we have the points of intersection E1. So this one will be the graph for F rho G. Where we have 
the green in color y is equals to e to the power negative x plus 1 for the blue in color y is equals to e to the power of x minus 1 kindly refers to the question c use your graph explain why f rho g inverse does not exist so when we mention about the inverse exists or not meaning that we are looking for one-to-one -one function so we have two methods number one graphical method number two algebraic method so i prefer using the graphical method because we already have the graph so by using the horizontal line test and we can explain whether the f rho g inverse exists or not so as we can see we have a horizontal line y is equals to a value constant and we notice that we have a two intersection point so as a conclusion f rho g is not one-to-one -one function because it cuts more than one point so that will be the explanation for question C kindly focus on the question D given that F rho G inverse exists so meaning that they want us to have a one-to-one -one function when the domain for F rho G is changed to so Kylie refers to the situation question state that the value of X such that X must be less than and equals to K so Kylie refers to the graph we have a green in color and blue in color and we notice that in here we have a separator where X is equals to 1 based on the situation X must be less than or equals to K so what is the value of k and what is the domain so that f rho g is 1 to 1 so Kylie refers to the graph the domain for f rho g is equals to negative infinity until 1 where 1 is included so in here the value of k is 1 so d i state the maximum value of k so meaning that based on the domain we can see that the maximum value for the situation to be one to one or for the f rho g inverse exists the value of k is equals to one d2 find the value of f rho g inverse with the value two so now what we have to do is to find the inverse for f rho g so kindly refers to the situation where we have y is equals to f rho g the inverse for f rho g for y is equals to x so in here let y is equals to exponent x minus 1 so we are going to express the situation x in terms of y in order to find the f rho g inverse so ln both sides equals to x minus 1 rearrange the situation where we have x is equals to ln y plus with the 1 where we will have f rho g inverse is equals to 1 plus ln x for the second part where we have y is equals to exponent to the power of negative x plus 1 ln both side ln y is equals to negative x plus 1 rewrite the situation and we will have x is equals to 1 minus ln y so f rho g inverse x is equals to 1 minus ln x so Kylie refers to the situation so just now D we mentioned that the situation must be x less than equals to k so means that we are going to use this function 
in order to find the f rho g inverse for the value 2. So in here, the function would be 1 minus ln x. So kindly substitute the value of 2. So f rho g bracket with the value f rho g inverse bracket with the value 2. So means that we have to substitute the value 2. 1 minus ln 2. So find the value of f rho g inverse for the value 2. So the answer would be 1 minus ln 2. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.